We're going to speak to uh, John Butler to get uh, his views, and obviously his phone was inundated on Wednesday. So, uh, good afternoon, John. Yeah. Can you hear me? I can. Thank you very much for joining us. I, I believe you're on the motorway, and are you down going down to Cheltenham? Yeah, I'm going to Cheltenham. I've got a Philly selling in the sales there this evening after racing, so I'm just going down to just uh, oversee that. Okay. Now, I mean, obviously. <laughs> Wednesday, your, your phone was probably really hot. We're not going to go into details, obviously, um, about that. But, uh, I mean, when did you catch wind of the, the story? Obviously, you know, low-key, I mean, uh, quite an act name horse, but it came at the end of a, of a day, really, that uh, the, book, the bookies are claiming they've, they've lost a lot of money on. But I don't know what your views are on that. Well, basically, I suppose, you know, as I was going to the races, um, the N25, going to um, Kempton um, on the way, um, my phone did start, um, so I realised then that uh, one of the horses were after winning in um, in Linkfield, and um, I actually didn't even know the second horse was after winning in Catterick till I got another phone call. So I suppose when I arrived at the races, then um, there was a good atmosphere around, and then when Desi's um, Desi Donovan's um, second horse won, then in um, Kempton, then I suppose uh, it all starts to kick off. Then really, as such, the pressure was on me, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And and but I mean, obviously, your argument is, and it's quite a valid argument that that the horse uh, were, were the visor for the first time, and and if you look at the handicap mark of eighty eight, it had come down six. That that's not your fault. That's that's the handicapping system. Um, is that a fair comment? Yeah, well, it's, a, it's a fair comment. Um, as such, when I got the horse first, he was a colt. And he was, uh, you know, he was a four or five year old colt there. And um, I suppose he had his own ideas on life at that stage. And um, his runs were, you know, there was, they were, they were, there was, there were poor enough runs. And, um, you know, we decided then that there was only one thing to do, and that's to make a gelding out of him as such. And uh, this year around then, when he came back into training, you know, he was definitely training a little bit better, but, you know, nothing special. And he had a he had an injury on his near four giant as well, um, which we had to medicate. And um, that's all recorded there uh, with Newmarket Equine Hospital. And um, as such, you know, he was he's nothing special at, by any means. And he just, on the day, he just happened to win, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, obviously the point, we, we, we discussed this on, on Thursday, the emphasis is on the sort of big races on the Saturday. I mean, we, I mean, obviously training these kind of horses, I mean, it must be quite difficult because with all due respect, they're mediocre um, horses and you've got to find, you know, you've got to find wins for them. And uh, presumably it's very hard to maintain a stable just by by the amount of uh, prize money and everything like that and the syndications that help you out. It's quite difficult in general to, 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 for these kind of horses. Yeah, well, listen, <clears throat> racing, you know, needs to, the prize money is in a dreadful state and racing with low, with a low grade racing as such, you know, I think 1,500 pounds to win or the other night, you know, every day, every time you run a horse, basically now it's general costs are 500 pounds to go. So, you know, so there's something probably going to have to be done in the future for racing as such, but it's, you know, racing for change are talking about it with the last two years, but nothing as such has happened yet with the low grade horse and that's why i've got to change the type of horse i've got to a a, a a saturday horse as such and you know i'm working quite hard on that now trying to get new owners and new type horses and and um so we're going to have to see what happens in the next six months now but i'm pretty hopeful that i can change the type of horse i've got you know and, that, and that's what it comes down to isn't it um john and and all trainers that sort of have class six or class five animals are looking to, to to upgrade and get the better prize money. In your opinion, and I'm only asking for your opinion, do you think there is too much racing of this kind of calibre on, or do you think it's a good thing? It's a, it's very hard to really say because there is a lot of low grade horses. You know what I'm trying to say? It's it's very very hard to say. Um, there's a lot of low grade horses and. You know what's going to happen to these horses if, if they do away with these races, and so I don't know. I suppose there is a lot of we're going to have. It's it's unfair on on the the smaller type owners and trainers that are trying to make a living out of the low grade horse to get rid of that type of horse too, because you know to do away with their livelihood. You know the big trainers will always survive, and the big owner will always survive. It's the 
it's the small guy you have to look after as such, and that includes me. You know what I mean? Yeah, and um, you could make that point in in another sport, football, where the big clubs are looked after and the, and the lower clubs are not. I mean, just one more couple of points in relation to to, to sales. I mean, do, do you have a plan during the course of the year? Do you go to uh, various places to, to buy horses and, and, and are you looking to get the better grade horses as you said throughout the th th this year well it, it comes down to the same old saying you can't do that without money and it's, it's just basically money you know what I mean everyone would like to buy a better type horse and mm. you can only really buy what you can afford like I ended up buying a horse last year at Ascot sales for £3,000 and you know what I mean then you try to buy it to you privately and get a deal a deal there from Ireland, you know, because I've got lots of connections at home in Ireland, and you know these guys are trying to get, you know, get winners behind their brood mares and stuff. So you'll always get phone calls, but at the end of the day, when you got an animal, you got to look after it, and it costs costs are there, you know. And Newmarket is not the cheapest place in the world by any means to survive, but by the facilities are are are, are there, and that's the best place to to meet new owners and see can you survive, you know. And, and, and on a personal level, before before you go, for, from a, from an ownership point of view in syndications, do you, do you do you welcome um, sort of people looking to to buy shares in horses and things like that? Well, listen, the door is open for everyone. That you know, everyone's welcome to come and or come and see the yard, and you know what I mean. And I'm, I'm on the phone the whole time, and everyone is welcome. It's just getting the right clientele forward, you know what I'm trying to say, and, yeah. and try to get a better type horse and a better type clientele in the yard, you know. Yeah. And apparently you ride out as well, I mean, you, you ride out yourself, John. Yeah, basically, I mock house, I ride out, drive the lawyer racing, lead up, do the whole lot, you have to, to survive, you know. Yeah. So, basically, that's the, you know, it's, <clears throat> I don't know what will happen when I get a little bit older, but at the moment, you've got to, you've got to just work away at this to see what happens, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, thank you very much, John. I mean, you didn't have to come on. Thanks very much indeed. And people can make their own judgments about what happened Wednesday. I mean, ultimately, you've been open and up front, certainly with us and other channels as well. And uh, just uh, um, thanks very much for, for joining us, John. Yeah, well, you're very welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye -bye.